Hi you guys, it's Alyssa and I am back. So today's reading is going to be a pick a card asking the question, how is my person feeling right now? How are they feeling towards me? How are they feeling towards the situation we're in, the connection we have, etc. Okay, um, before we start, I just wanted to remind everybody that um, there is a giveaway going on this week. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing a giveaway for reaching 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. Um, so I'm giving away two free 15-minute readings. Um, all the details on that are in a community post on my channel, so check that out if you want to enter. Um, <clears throat> you have to leave a comment on that post in order to be entered into the giveaway. Um, so yeah, check that out if you're interested. The winners will be announced March 11th, Monday, at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? So you have the weekend to enter if you want to do that. Um, also, I just wanted to say that uh, Mercury Retrograde is already kicking my ass. Um, I had two uh, videos that I had pre-recorded that I was going to upload this week, and both of them got fucked up somehow. So that was great. Um, one of them was like corrupted and the other one had footage that was straight up missing that I could not find anywhere on my computer. So yeah, it's been a great week. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, anyway, we've got five options to choose from. Um, I have uh, some of my little Lenormand cards as the... Um, I don't know, significator for each group. Uh, so for option number one, we have the ship, and that is number three. For option number two, we have the clouds card, which is number six. For option number three, we've got the letter, number 27. For option number four, we've got the mountain, number 21. And for group five, we have the dog card, which is number 18. Okay, you guys, so go ahead and make your choice. Um, I hope you've made your choice. If not, go ahead and pause the video because we are going to get started with group number one. All right, let me get these out of the way. Okay, so group one, the ship card. This card is about movement, right? So let's see if that turns out to be an accurate um, energy for this reading overall. <laughs> okay, so let's check out what your cards are. All right, your first card is retreat. So um, right away, I think this is Probably somebody that you are not really in contact with or you have very little contact with them. It just feels like you and this person um, are kind of withdrawn from each other. You know, there's a, there's a disconnect here. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, we've got the King of Pentacles also. And in this deck, this card talks about a similar thing, right? It's about um, kind of a, I want to say there's this energy of like running away, right? Because you can see this woman is like hiding behind this pillar from this man who's kind of like running towards her. And it's like she's hiding. And if um, there's a wall behind her, so it's like if she could, she would keep running, but she can't. <laughs> so um, I just get the sense that this person has moved away from you. I don't know where I'm, I don't know where I'm putting these cards. Um, let's see what else. We have the Five of Swords. So Five of Swords, this is like, I want to point out that these people are on a beach. There is an ocean behind them. Uh, 
Um, okay. So I'm kind of seeing this as your person sort of looking back on whatever happened between you in the past or looking back on the relationship that you had because I feel like you don't really have one right now for most of you guys and if that doesn't resonate with you then this might not be the pile for you you might want to choose a different one because I feel pretty strongly that a lot of you guys are not in touch with this person you're very disconnected from each other um let's see we also have the nine of cups interesting so the nine of cups is about wish fulfillment it's about um contentment it's like it's kind of like having a wish come true you know what i'm saying so hmm it's like this connection is something that they've always wanted and yet they're running away from it We have the freedom card. Okay. Weird. You guys, your person is kind of weird. <laughs> no offense, but it's like, okay, this is something that they have wanted. This is like... All right. Here's what I'm getting. They, your person met you, you got to know each other, they were like, wow, this is awesome, this is like what I've always wanted, you know, I've always wanted to be able to connect with somebody this intensely, but then as it went on, it was kind of like, this is a little bit too intense for me, um, and I think that's why they have moved away. They have retreated, they have run off, because they felt like maybe what was going on between you was a little bit stifling or just a little bit scary and so they had to take off um because they not necessarily wanted freedom from you but they they kind of just wanted a break they kind of just needed to take a breath okay interesting we have balanced spirituality and practicality. So this is full moon in Pisces. So um, the Pisces cards always make me think that there is a really um, deep spiritual connection going on. So that would make sense if this person um, felt intimidated by what you had with each other or felt um, kind of scared by the intensity of their feelings. Um, and we have nothing is yet set in stone. This is the mutable moon. This card talks about... Um, you know, nothing is ever guaranteed. Um, it, it's kind of like, you know, it's it's a reminder that we all create our own destiny. You know, we are the creators of our own reality, right? And um, we all have free will. And because we all have free will, the choices we make every day impact future outcomes, right? So, I'm going to pull some clarifying cards. All right, that's a little too many, but like, I feel as if this person, they ran off, we have the Seven of Cups, they ran off, they were kind of confused by what they felt towards you or something, um, and they needed to take a break, they just needed some time to catch their breath and figure out, like, what this is how they feel. Huh. And I just realized that I did not put my camera back the way that I wanted it. Okay. <laughs> so, um, it's kind of like they ran off, they needed time to figure out what was going on because they were confused and overwhelmed. And I feel like at some point in the past, they thought, well, this is it. I've royally screwed this up. There's no coming back from it. But now, I think they're changing their mind a little bit about that with this card being here. It's kind of like, well, maybe not. Maybe there's another, maybe there's a chance, right? Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Um, I feel like now they're kind of thinking about, you know, kind of creeping back towards you. Um, Page of Pentacles, this is like someone making an offer, but 
it's coming in slow because it's pentacles and that's earth energy right so i think they're yeah they're they're thinking about creeping back towards you and just kind of i don't know maybe they might be thinking about testing the waters a little bit because we have so much water in this spread um like literally water 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 pisces that's water right um water cups cups water so yeah yes that's <laughs> that's exactly it we have the star card this is about renewal restoration um it's about hope so i think this person is very hopeful that um you will be receptive to them returning or you know because i i get the sense that they really would like to try to make it up to you i think they want to be part of your life again um i think that this person misses you and so and look there's more water in this card so um i mean the person you're dealing with could be a water sign or maybe you're a water sign or something like that but the signs aren't super relevant um what i'm really getting from this is that this person has very strong feelings towards you right because water is cups which is emotions um this person has very strong feelings for you even if you have not been in contact with this person for months or years i think this is still applies i think they still care they still i mean they still <laughs> want to try again and so i feel like for you guys who picked this group your person is thinking a lot about coming back in and you know testing the waters a little bit you know they um so you might get a um, a message from them sometime just like hey <laughs> or something like that just because they want to see how you respond if you respond right um if you are receptive to their contact all right and then you know from there they will figure out the next step and then the next step and then the next step because i think ultimately they want to be a part of your life because they really care about you and i feel like this person loves you let's see if there's any other cards that want to come out oh yeah eight of eight of pentacles seven of swords ten of swords yeah i'm I, I definitely definitely think that a lot of you guys um there's been some sort of ending or perceived ending right the uh seven of swords this is again this is talking about talking to me about withdrawal right moving away um kind of like this guy is about to lay down in this coffin and shut the door and never come out right um but they are they're they're very hopeful for this to work out and i think they're willing to do the work that it would require to get back to where you were you know what i mean like if you guys were close in the past like if you talked every day in the past they want to get back up to that. They they want to they want to have that again. They miss that. Um and they're willing to do whatever it takes to, you know, have you back in their life like that. All right, guys. So, let me see. I think I want to pull one of these cards and then I think we'll move on. Oh, that's more than one. So, so, but like also with all this water and with the ship, it's like they moved away from you in the past, but now I think they're moving back towards you. Chaos and conflict reversed. That's number 33, in case that number is significant to anyone. Let's see, chaos and conflict reversed. Okay, so so this card is about 
restoring order and it's kind of about negotiation right so what I was talking about with this um, your person has this desire to restore this connection they have a desire to you know just um, kind of see you know they just they just want to come in they just kind of want to poke their head in the door and just see what's going on and then you know based on your reaction they're like okay so what do I need to do to make it up to you what do I what do I need to do to prove to you that I'm serious like you know what I'm saying this is kind of this is kind of what they're um, planning to do okay because they want to put an end to this like running they want to put an end to the fear I feel like they already kind of have put an end to that fear right ten of swords this is about endings um, so now they are ready to make things right okay so I'm kind of seeing this as a potential outcome for you guys the restoration of order the um, a, a peaceful resolution to this situation where you know your person's end goal is to be back uh, with you you know interesting guys that turned out to be a pretty good reading I was a little bit worried at first okay so group number one that is your reading I hope that it resonated with you um, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you thought um, keep in mind that these are just general readings if this reading did not resonate with you um, pick a different one I don't know I don't know what to tell you you know these are uh, these are meant to apply to hundreds and thousands of people okay so just keep that in mind you guys all right so um, thank you so much for watching I hope I see you next time group one we're gonna move on now to group number two which was the clouds clouds number six okay group two how's your person doing what are they feeling what's going on your first card is very soon okay clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now all right so that's your first card so this right away tells me that um, something's going to be happening or it could be saying that you know you simply need to decide you may have to make some sort of decision about this person okay pretty soon but it could be that as well all right so let's look at your tarot cards we have the five of swords okay five of swords came out for group one as well so five of swords in this deck this card is about fear okay it's about um, I kind of feel like it's about feelings of inadequacy so somebody might feel kind of inadequate in this connection um, let's see what else we have we have the ace of wands and we have the two of cups interesting so ace of wands this is about new beginnings the wands cards are you know um, fire energy it's it's very passionate it's very uh, sexual and creative um, you know those are the things that wands are associated with um, and two of cups this is about partnerships this is about love romance um, union it can also be an indicator of soulmate or twin flame connections okay not to say necessarily that that's what this person is um, but we'll see what other cards come out okay plus this is just a general reading so I you know I can't tell you for sure if this person is a soulmate or twin flame anyway um, okay so let's see you guys got two of these cards we have healing and trust okay so um, interesting this uh, 
this person that you're asking about, I feel like is going through some stuff. Okay. Um, and they could be a soulmate or something, but whatever the case, I feel like this card is just saying, like, this person does have feelings for you. This person does love you and care about you very deeply. And I think that they would like to kind of start over or start again with you. Um, because I get the sense that this person, this person could have some baggage that has caused problems between you in the past that has kind of inadvertently hurt this relationship, okay? And with the healing card being here, this card is telling me that whatever this person's problem is, which for some of you it is, you know, feeling inadequate, it is self-esteem problems, it is fear, um, but this could also be uh, representing something else, some other kind of, you know, emotional baggage or something like that. But there's something that this person is trying to heal from or needs to heal from. And I feel like hold on now. We have the Emperor card. Okay, so I don't get the sense that this person is actively healing from anything or trying to work through any of their problems because the Emperor is sort of a stubborn figure, right? He's, uh, he, he feels like he thinks he's got it all together, but he doesn't realize just how much certain things are affecting him. He doesn't realize, um, what aspects of himself need to change in order, you know, for his own happiness, for his own well-being, okay? He doesn't quite see, I, I don't think this person quite sees how their issues are affecting this situation. And so there is a need for transformation and healing, okay? We have take time to breathe out. So this card is telling me a similar thing. It's kind of like um, what this person needs to do is sort of step back. Or this could be saying what you should do is sort of step back from this person. Um, because there's there are just there's just things that they that they need to um, address that it, and, it, and it's gonna be most beneficial to them if they do it by themselves like that's it's gonna be most effective that way right um so if you are not um if you are you know currently close to this person you may want to step back a little bit um so that they have some space to work through what's whatever's whatever's going on with them um, but I feel like for most of you guys, you already kind of have done that. You're not super close to this person right now. And I think that's why this Ace of Wands is here. It's like because they want to start over. Um, and I think that uh, some of them know that they need to work on themselves. Like maybe you've told them that. But I feel like they don't really believe that they, hmm, part of them knows that they have problems, but also they don't really believe that it's actually impacting them. Does that make sense? Um, interesting. We have the Four of Cups. So yeah, um, I don't feel like this person is actually actively working on anything because Four of Cups is about, like, disappointment, it's about boredom, it's about just, like, kind of just sitting around doing, doing fuck all, you know? Um, so I feel like for, <laughs> for a lot of you guys, that's what your person is doing right now. 
um, they haven't really started this transformation yet. Um, but I think they're going to. It's just... It just might take some time because we have the trust card. So this card is telling me that, you know, things might look kind of bleak at the moment. But, you know, you've got to trust that it's going to come together eventually. Um, and that is probably not going to be soon. Just saying. Okay. Let's see. Can I get a clarifier for the very soon card? We have the Hermit. Okay, so, yeah, Hermit is another card that's about withdrawal. So, for those of you who are still, you know, close to this person, you still have regular contact with this person, this is a sign that you need to, like I was saying, you need to step back a little bit and give this person some space. Because I feel like as long as they think that everything's okay, or as long as you you know, lead them to believe that everything's okay, they're not going to, they're not going to change anything. Whoa. There's the world card. Yeah, the world is about cycles. It's about movement. So there is some sort of cycle within this person's life. Um, possibly some sort of karma that needs to be cleared. I'm not sure. It's going to be different for all of you. Um, but there's something in this person's life that needs to come to an end that they need to just, you know, tear out at the root um, and throw away. But they're not really... I, I just don't see that they are actively working on that for most of you. For some, for a small number of you, they are. They are working towards doing this. They are in the process of this transformation, of this healing. Um, but that's just a small number of you. And I feel like if your person is doing this work, I feel like you'll probably know. Okay. So let's see if anything else wants to come out. And if your person is not doing these things, if they are not doing any kind of work on themselves, they will. It's just that they... Hmm... They just haven't quite gotten around to it. For some of you, they haven't they haven't gotten that wake up call yet, and I feel like if you walk away from them a little bit or step back from them, that will kind of serve as a wake up call. Um, for others of you, um, they are aware, but they're kind of in denial, and so they're just they just haven't made any efforts yet. Okay. But I think they will, eventually. Um, it's just... It's just a matter of when and how long it's going to take, which is going to be different for all of you guys. So, um... We have get more information. Okay. What is that card telling us? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Whoa! Why just get more information here? We have the Eight of Wands. So I feel like this person still... Th hmm. For some of you, your person still feels like they need more evidence that... Okay. Here's what I'm hearing. I'm just going to repeat it to you. They need they they feel like they need more evidence that they're fucked up before they will do something about it. Cuz they don't fully believe that you know there's anything wrong with them that that there's anything about them that's impacting you negatively or even impacting them negatively like some of some of these people that you're dealing with don't see anything wrong. Um, not truly. Okay. They might agree with you if you tell them that they need to do this or that, but, like, in their minds, 
they're in denial about it. They're like, no, not really. Just kidding. Um, but, you know, I, I'm getting a, a, a quite a few different scenarios with this spread. So, you know, that's just, it's going to be um, up to you guys, you know, to practice discernment and decide, like, what parts of this reading apply to you and what parts do not. Because um, I can't tell you, because I don't know your specific situation. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the messages that I'm getting for you guys. Um, if your person's not working on themselves, they will. Um, they just need a little, they, not a little, they need a lot of time. <laughs> okay. Um, I hope that this reading resonated with you. Um, if you want to know the details on your specific situation, you can buy a private reading from me. Um, the link to my Etsy store is in the description box. That's how I do all my personal readings. You gotta buy through Etsy. I don't do it any other way. Um, I have uh, three different types of readings available, so you can check that out and see um, what will suit your needs best. Okay, guys? Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. We're going to move on now to group number three, which was the letter. Okay, so this card is about communication. So let's see what you have here. First of all, you have flirt. Okay, so this is a lighthearted kind of energy. This is... Um, Right away, I feel like your person feels pretty good, okay? We have the Four of Wands. Yeah, your person does feel good. Your person feels really good right now. Four of Wands is about celebration, it's about marriage, it's about happy times, good stuff. Um, six of Wands and Strength. Wow! <laughs> so, Six of Wands is about victory, success, recognition. Um, the strength card, it's like, you know, feeling powerful, overcoming obstacles, that kind of thing. So I feel like your person feels really good right now, just in general, you know, I mean, they feel good about you and they feel good about themselves. They feel good about life overall. Um, wow. Okay. Let's see what else we have. We have shadow self. Oh, and we have prosperity lies ahead. Okay, so this card is about abundance. This card is a big yes. Um, it is like success on the horizon, right? Victory, abundance, that kind of thing. Kind of like you cannot fail, okay? Um, let's see, why is the Shadow Self card here? We have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is about apathy, boredom. Let's see, we have the Knight of Wands. Oh, oh, there go some of my cards. We have the Empress and we have the Seven of Cups. And um, this was on the floor as well, which is interesting. Um, I think that must have been from one of my previous readings today. Um, okay. So, your person feels very good about you. That much is very clear. <coughs> However, there is also this sense of uncertainty. Because we have the Four of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Both of these cards are about kind of like um, indecision. Not sure. Not sure what to do. Which way to go. And it's like, I think what they, what they want to do is to move towards you. I feel like this card is representing you. This is how they are seeing you. Um, that's what they want to do. But I think there's something that's kind of holding them back and it could be that it could there 
some some sort of shadow aspect of themselves. I feel like this person is aware that they have a problem or problems that they need to address um, that if they don't and they come towards you will ultimately mess things up for you guys. So like they want to get right before they come towards you. Um, and I think they have a lot of confidence in their ability to do this. I think that's why these four cards up here are, are here, right? Because I think they feel confident in their ability to overcome whatever this problem is that they are seeing, that they have recognized within themselves. Um, and, and they have confidence in their ability to succeed, right? And they have confidence in their connection with you and their feelings towards you and, and your feelings towards them. So they feel good about this. It's just, um, you know, they are, they're working on it. They're working, they're working on themselves. Something, some, some aspect of themselves. Um, for some of you, it could be something relatively small. For others of you, it could be a big thing, um, but I, I feel like this person cares about you a lot, and this person, I mean, we have this, this card is about weddings, so I feel like this person wants, they want that with you, they, they want, you know, they want to marry you, or they want to have that level of commitment with you, they just want to be with you, okay? Um, but they haven't come towards you yet because they know there's this thing that they have to do first. Um, and if you haven't heard from this person in a while, I feel like communication is coming. Um, because we've got a lot of cards here that indicate, you know, activity, um, wands and that stuff. Um, Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are probably have l little or no contact with this person. Some of you haven't heard from this person in quite a while. Um, but they've been doing a lot of changes in the time that they've been gone. And when they come back, I feel like they're going to surprise you because they're going to be quite different. Um... I mean, I don't really see them, like, running in, like, bursting through the door and immediately being like let's get married but you know what I mean <laughs> they're gonna they're just gonna surprise you because they're going to it's, it's going to be obvious that they have been working on themselves and trying to become a better person and trying to become a better person for you okay because they know whatever it is that's going on with them right now if they tried to be with you it, it would end badly because they're just not ready right now okay Let's see, let me pull one of these cards for you guys. What else does group three need to know? We have the yin card. Okay, so yin is, um, it can indicate um, the, the divine feminine, right? It is number two. This is sort of like, allowing this card is kind of about re being receptive it's about you know letting other people take the lead for now it's about i'm seeing this as being patient you you being patient and allowing this person when they come back in just giving them the space to show you who they are okay not trying to exert any control over this situation, not trying to, you know, move this thing forward faster than it already is, just sitting back like the Empress and letting what happens happen and letting this person show you who they are and what they have become and how they have improved, okay? So yeah, um, group 
group three, I think that's your reading. That's pretty much all I'm getting for you guys. Um, I hope that this resonated with you, and I hope you enjoyed it. Keep in mind that these are just general readings, and um, if they don't resonate with you, then I'm sorry. Uh, maybe, you know, pick a different one or watch somebody else. You know, there's there are tons and tons and tons of tarot readers here on YouTube and elsewhere in the world. So, you know, you're bound to find somebody who is on the same wavelength as you are. Um, yeah, group three... Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope I see you next time. We are going to move on now to group number four, which was the mountain number 21. Okay, let's see what cards you have. We have forgiving and learning. Okay, so um, <laughs> right away there's been some sort of obstacle in this connection, okay? The mountain can also indicate that, all right? Let's see what your tarot cards are. We have the wheel, we have the page of pentacles, and we have the ace of pentacles. Okay, so, um, hmm. Interesting. So the, the wheel is um, talking about movement, okay? It's talking about progression. Um, the Page of Pentacles is coming towards you, offering you this ace, which is a new start, based on stability, based on something solid, a solid foundation, okay? Um, so I feel like your person is wanting to come towards you with this sort of offer, um, but I feel like because of something that may have happened between you in the past, there's this, there's something blocking them. They might be unsure if you have forgiven them or will forgive them, okay? They may be unsure of that, and that could be what's blocking them. Let's see what your other cards are. We have Guardian Angel. Interesting. We have Look at the Bigger Picture, and we have You and Your Loved Ones Are Safe. So, um, I feel like this person... I feel like this person's fears might be a little bit unfounded because look at the bigger picture. This card is talking about like getting too caught up in the details, okay? Um, so they might be fixated on how they messed up in the past and unable to see beyond that. And, you know, maybe, maybe you are over it, but they, you know, they can't believe that, right? Um, because they just feel like such a... They just feel like they really screwed up big time. Mm. Oh man, my tea is cold now. Um, anyway, however, I feel like a lot of you guys who picked this option have forgiven them. I feel like you are over whatever happened in the past because we've got this card, which is you and your loved ones are safe, so it's kind of like... You know, it's a new moon, and new moons are about new beginnings, just like the aces. Um, so I feel like you have let it go. You're, you're kind of looking at this situation from a neutral perspective. Um, and, and as far as you're concerned, you know, this person is safe to come towards you. Um, let's see let's see why the um, Guardian Angel card is here. Why is Guardian Angel here? We have Nine of Swords. This card's about anxiety. It's about stress. So I think this person is definitely stressed about this situation. They definitely have guilt. They definitely have regrets. Whoa. Okay. We have the Moon card. I get the feeling that this person can't really see the forest for all the trees. Um, which is sort of... You know, that goes along with this card. You know, you're too caught up on the details. Um, it could be that... Hmm. We have the Empress. I think you intimidate this person a little bit. I think they kind of see you like this, the Empress, the Guardian Angel, like, 
you are for some of them it's like you're so much better than them and they don't they just can't believe that you would be open to you know having them back basically um, or giving them another chance and so that's why they're worried like that's what they want but they don't think that it can happen okay and so that's why they have not approached you that's why they are not you know that's why they're not talking about it um well my cards just keep flying in the floor yeah we have the eight of pentacles here so this card is talking about work it's talking about making an effort it's like this person is willing to work with you they just don't think that you are willing to work with them basically that's pretty much it um and so they're concerned and so they're worried and so they're afraid and so they're not doing anything all right it's like the act of speaking to you is like a mountain to them whereas in reality it's an anthill okay um let's see let me pull oops let me pull one of these oh we have unfinished symphony number 10 so this card is talking about like you know unfinished business it's um a lack of closure it's the need to fix things to make amends so um there are definitely things that have been left unsaid between you that need to be said that need to be you know brought out into the open um and i feel like you will have an opportunity for that at some point it's just a matter of like is this person gonna come towards you um, for a lot of you guys, I feel like the answer is probably no, so you might want to reach out to them and just say something like, hey, um, I, I, I would like to talk to you sometime, so like text me or call me or whatever. Um, because if you don't, I feel like for a, a number of you, your person might... I don't want to say that they'll never contact you because that's probably not true but it might be a long time before you hear from them and I mean a long time like a year or more okay um so yeah group number four let's see is there anything else is there anything else feel like there's something else we have the ten of swords yeah there needs they this person I think needs some closure they need some closure they need this they need this worry to end they need um, they need to know that you're not gonna like rip their head off basically so that they can get off their chest whatever it is they want to tell you or talk about yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, so it's basically saying the same thing as the page. It's like they want to come for towards you. They want to make you some sort of offer, they, like a peace offering or something. It's just that they are moving so extremely slow. So um, I think a lot of you, if you were to reach out to them first, I don't think it would have an, any sort of negative impact. It might help to move things along a little more quickly. Um, if you don't want to do that, that's fine too. Just, you know, be aware that you will be waiting a long time, okay? And we have the Three of Cups. So, I, I feel like if reconciliation is something that you are interested in, if that is something that you want to happen, I think that's definitely on the table. Um, yeah, like I said, it's just, it's going to be a while. If, if you don't want to contact them or you can't contact them for some reason, it's going to be a while. Okay? So, um, and, and like, in the meantime, like, don't worry about it. This person's worrying about it enough for both of you, uh, basically. So, I would not, I, I honestly wouldn't, I wouldn't be too concerned, okay? Because this person thinks about it a lot, and so, you know... 
they obviously haven't forgotten, all right? Um, so group number four, I hope that resonated with you and I hope you enjoyed. Um, if it did not resonate, this is just a general reading. Maybe, you know, come back next time. Uh, maybe you'll have better luck or maybe choose a different option. Um, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you so much for watching. And I hope I see you next time. We are going to move on now to the last group, number five, which was the dog card. Okay, so the dog talks about loyalty. The dog talks about commitment. Let's see what cards you have. We've got new love. Interesting. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So this person, for a lot of you guys, this person could be someone new to you. Um, we've got the wheel. We have the ten of pentacles and the king of pentacles. So stability, security, um, fulfilling, something, something being very fulfilling and solid and satisfying. Possibly, possibly somewhat uh, faded. Um, you know, I always, I say that, you know, we are the creators of our own destiny, but there are certain things that, you know, the universe does play a hand in, right? Um, in, in ensuring that they happen. Um, this could be one of those things. Um, let's see what else we have. We have perception and we have have faith in your dreams. Okay, so I think that for a lot of you guys, this person might seem kind of unattainable to you, or they see you as being unattainable, okay? Um, and I feel like from the vast majority of you, this is someone who's quite new to you. Um, so if that doesn't apply to your situation, this might not be the reading for you. Um, because yeah, it, I'm getting a very strong, like new sort of energy. Let me take a sip of my tea, which is cold now. Hmm. But this person, this person is really into you guys. This person is like so into you guys, it hurts. Um, they, they want to come towards you. They want to be committed to you. They want to offer you those things. They want to be, they want this. They want to be this king of pentacles for you. They want to be loyal to you. Um, they just feel like you're a little bit out of their league or a lot. Um, and they might be right. I don't know. Um, but we have have faith in your dreams. So this card is telling me that, you know, they see... From their, from their perspective, they see blockages here. However, they're kind of determined to overcome those things. Like, this person feels very determined to, to get you, to be with you, um, or to have a chance, okay? So let's see, um, let me get some clarifying cards. We have the tower. Yeah, I think that um, when when you and this person met, it was kind of a tower moment for them. It was kind of like, holy shit, where have you been all my life? Um, yeah, and they and so they want to create a foundation with you. They want to build something with you. Um, again, this feels like something new. Okay. Um, They could have been like, I didn't even know people like you existed. <laughs> we have justice. So justice is about balance. Um, it can be about karma. So this is another card that can indicate that there is some sort of, um, possibly some sort of soul connection here. Okay. Not necessarily karmic, but, you know, um... Let's see. Whoa. 
We have the Four, we have the Ten of Pentacles again, and we have the Nine of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, again, this is emphasizing that energy. This is emphasizing the fact that they feel like you are a dream come true. You are everything they could ever want. Um, the Fool card, this is like, you make them feel stupid. Like, in a good way. Like, they just, they just want to pack their shit up and, like, go to you. Okay? And, and never, never leave again. Um, like this guy, you know, he's going, he's, he's like going on a trip. He's, he's embarking on a trip and he ha doesn't have a care in the world. He's like, this is going to be a great trip. This is going to be a really good time. And that's like how you make them feel, right? Like nothing could go wrong. Like, they're just excited to be here. <laughs> um, we also have the nine of wands. So... This is, again, talking about the, um, this idea that there's, they, they have this idea that there's something coming between you, um, and it could be all in their head, or it could be real, I don't know, it's probably gonna differ for all of you, um, so I'm sure you will know if it, you know, what the case is in your situation, um, but, you know, this card is about, like, pushing through to the end. Like, even though you're exhausted and you feel like giving up, this is about persevering, right? Making it out on the other side. Anyway, so I feel like that's what this person's prepared to do. They are willing to work. They are willing to, you know, put in some blood, sweat, and tears to get this um, relationship that they want. And it just feels very pure-hearted. It feels very wholesome and good. Um... And, you know, I, I think that, I think this person might be a bit naive. For some of you guys, you, um, some of you guys might be a little bit put off by how they behave or the way they talk about the two of you, like, you know, some of them could be like, you know, we're going to be together forever and you're just kind of like, okay, sure. Um, because that's just not realistic, you know, especially if you're young, like how many people actually get together when they're young and stay together forever? Like almost none. Okay. Um, so yeah, you might, <laughs> you might think that they are naive. You might say, and, and I think they probably are. Um, so, you know, they have big plans, like, they have big dreams, like, this is really a dream of theirs. Um, is it going to last forever, though? Probably not, but, you know, that's fine. It, you know, it, it doesn't have to, right? Because every, you know, relationship that we have is a learning experience, and just because something doesn't last forever doesn't mean that it was a waste of time, okay? Nothing is really a waste of time, in my opinion, um, because we learned something from everything. Um, so yeah, uh, group number five. Um, let me pull out an oracle card for you, and then I think we will uh, wrap this up. I think that'll about do it. Ooh, that's uh, too many cards. Okay. We have a change in the wind. Let's see, number 12. So this card is kind of self-explanatory. It's like, maybe some of you guys have felt like this person is going to be important to you in your life in some way. Um, or maybe you just have this feeling or this sense like, you know, this person is really going to fuck me up somehow, but I'm going to let them. Um, I, I think that for a number of you guys, this could be a karmic partner, okay? Um, and, and, you know, karmic partners are not meant to be together forever, so, but, but like, I don't want you to be scared of this or try to avoid this just because I said that, um, even if they are 
truly a karmic partner, like, there's no point in trying to avoid it, okay? Because, like, this person does care about you. They do, they are into you. I do feel like you could have a really positive relationship with this person. Like I was saying, just because it doesn't last forever doesn't mean it wasn't worth it. Um, you can be happy <laughs> in a relationship that doesn't last forever, um, right? Because everybody grows, everybody changes, um, if, you know. It, it happens. It's just life. Um, so, yes. I, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is a karmic partner. But I don't see it ending badly. You know, I, I don't. I, I see this being a positive experience in general, okay? Um, so don't worry about that. Don't be afraid of that. Don't try to avoid it. Um... Plus, this is general, so I don't even know if it's the case for you specifically. Um, the only way to know the details about your specific situation is to get a private reading, and I just so happen to do those. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, group number five, that's really all that I'm getting for you guys. I have fuzzies all over me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope that it resonated with you. Um, feel free to let me know your thoughts. Um, I love to read your comments as long as they're not stupid or rude. Uh, those get deleted, but um, in general, I love to read your comments. And I really appreciate all of your support, you guys. Um, really means a lot to me. Thank you again for getting me to 5,000 subscribers. And if you entered the giveaway, best of luck to you. Okay? Um... And reminder, the winners will be announced Monday, March 11th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be on the lookout for a post with the winners, okay? Um, yes, I think that's about it. Thank you again for watching, guys. I hope I see you next time. Bye!